Welcome everyone to my uh, tutorial. So today we are going to talk about the uh, print merge. So print merge is used in a situation, for example, here. Um, let's just say this is a ticket and the ticket should have numbers, but the numbers have uh, it's uh, it's random and uh, not random, but it has like a variation of numbers. So for example, ticket number one, ticket number two, ticket number three, and you're going to print it, right? So print merge is best for that, okay? So we can also use that for business cards. So for example, the business cards is, they have a different name and also position. So we can also use that. So the first thing we have to do in, uh, in doing print merge is we have to create a um, a uh, an Excel sheet. So you can use Excel or you can also use uh, Google Sheets for that, uh, because we only need a CSV file, uh, comma delimited file. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open my Excel Excel sheet, and. Uh, I'm just going to open it here. So we are going to create a blank worksheet. So so this is Excel. And so what we're going to do is say, for example, here. So what I want to do here is I want to put uh, ticket numbers here, right? Starting with, say, um, 1000. Okay. So um, when you're in Excel or Google Sheet, the first column and the first row should be um, the title of the of the data so for example here i'm gonna put here ticket number okay you can name it whatever you want but for me i'll just put in a ticket number and then i'm going to start with say um zero um no maybe one zero 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 one okay so uh, in Excel, when you start with one value and then say, for example, I'll make this one zero 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 two, right? Um, Excel understands if we highlight this both, it will it will get the um, what do you call this the uh, uh, the uh, the number. Say for example one. Two, so that will be the next one will be three, four, five, six. So I'm just gonna drag this one, and it's going to create. Say for example, I'm gonna make um, let's just say thirty uh, thirty tickets, right? But you can go, you know, any number you want. Okay, so so that's that's those are the numbers, right? So now after this one, we you just have to save it. So click on file, and then you go to uh, save as. And I'm gonna browse, and I'm just gonna put it in one of my folders. Uh, say I'm gonna put it in my documents, um, my desktop here, and then make sure this one uh, save as type should be um, uh, CSV, so comma delimited file, okay, CSV. And I'm just gonna type in here, say tickets, say tickets, okay, and I'll click on save. Okay, so we don't need Excel anymore. Let's go go back to Corel Draw. So in Corel Draw, we are going to do print merge, right? So you go to File, and then click on Print Merge, and then choose the Create slash Load Print Merge, and you're going to have this dialog box, right? So this dialog box will ask you to import the file. So I'm going to click on import file and then once you click on import file you are going to look for the CSV right so I'm just gonna uh, sort this to CSV and it's this one I click on that and then I open and now it transfers to CorelDRAW see it transfers it and then the title of the the column is ticket number, so you got that too, right? And then you click on finish. So now when you click on finish, this will appear, uh, print merge. So we only have one field, right, which is print uh, ticket number. 
So we're not gonna ins uh, yeah, we can insert it. So you just click on insert uh, selected field and this one will show up, right? So basically this one will be the printed numbers, okay? From one zero 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 one to one zero zero thirty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shrink that down because this is the actual numbers that gonna be printed, okay? And I'm gonna make that white so that it would it would show up right now in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to before this bracket i can i'm going to put there uh ticket uh number and then colon right so that uh so that the ticket number would be uh this word the ticket uh, number would be before the ticket numbers, the actual 001, 002, right? And then I can also, uh, of course, you can change the, the font style, whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it to Arial, but I want the ticket number to be bold. So I'm going to select that and then make it bold, okay? And then I'm going to move this somewhere like that. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this. So plus sign in your keyboard to duplicate. So I'm gonna bring it here and then I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, I'm gonna put it here, okay? But 90 degrees rotated. So I'm just gonna put it here 90 degrees and then hit enter. And then I can uh, change the size. So I'm gonna put it here, okay? And go like this. Okay, so so I'm done, right? So all the numbers will show up here and also here on the side. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to click on Perform Print Merge, okay? So when you click on Perform uh, Print Merge, um, uh, a dialog box will show up. So this will show up, right? So uh, my printer is, this HP laser, but we're, I'm not going to print it. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it as a PDF first, Adobe PDF. So make sure to click on Adobe PDF, okay? And then you are going to print preview. So once you click on print preview, uh, this one will show up, right? Uh, so you notice the first number is 10001, right? And a ticket number will show up here too. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm going to print this in an 8.5 by 11, and then, you know, um, I'm going to put, say, probably 10 in one sheet, right? And I'm going to cut it out, right? So you click on this uh, imposition. So when you click imposition, uh, you can set how many rows and how many columns, right? So for example, I'm going to make the rows, um, I'm going to increase the row, I um, mean, the, yeah, the columns to two, and then the rows to one, two, three, four. Say, for example, that one, right? And then I also, because I'm going to cut this manually, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust the spacing, okay? So in here, you can go to uh, Edit Gutter and Finishing. So you click Edit that. And then this is the one that I'm going to put some spacing. So you just increase this, the size here. So I'm just going to put there something like that and I'm going to do it with the with the horizontal spacing too okay okay so so I'm happy with that right so what would happen is it's gonna have lots of tickets it's gonna have uh, 1 to 30 tickets but with different numbers so after this one you click on this icon here for print and uh, of course you're gonna uh, put it in in a location. So I'm gonna put it in in my folder here. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna put it outside here, and I'm gonna click on save. Okay, and you're just gonna wait for the um, wait for the uh, converting or creating the the print to an Adobe. So this can be used for a lot of things. You can use it for business cards, envelopes, say you, you're printing envelopes and you want it to have a different address. And, or let's say you want to print, um, yeah, so this is, 
uh, this is the uh, the outcome of it so I'm just gonna maximize this and just gonna look so we start with one zero 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 one and then here is one zero 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 two and then and you know, if you notice too I added gutter right so the gutter is for my cutting so I'll cut that one and since this is only 30 and then one sheet is one two three four five ten so I have uh, ten sheet uh, no three sheets yeah so that's it right it's very nice this is very convenient because then you don't need to you know duplicate and then change the the ticket number right so now let's uh, I'm gonna close this one and then I have a file here uh, this is just an example of a business card so I just made a, like a very simple business card here but uh, just for an example okay but what I did um, in my Excel sheet I already uh, uh, created a data we're in um, I'm just gonna yeah this is the data I created um, oops. oops sorry one sec here I'm just gonna open that file uh, business cards okay so here so anyway so what I'm gonna put here I'm gonna put the the name and then the position of the of the employee okay so I am going to sorry <laughs> I forgot to save it but anyway I'm I'll try to look for that file uh, Okay, anyway, we'll just make a new one. I'm just going to make an example here. Okay, so here we're going to put name. Okay, and then we're going to put here position. Okay, so position in the, uh, in the, uh, so basically it's a, it's a fitness uh, gym, right? So I'm going to put ran random names here. Uh, let me see here. Um... Actually, I, I have it here, but it's not formatted. Uh, I'm going to paste it here. Okay, this is the one I prepared, but I, it got lost. So, so nay, okay, so this one, I'm going to delete this. I'm not going to... I'm going to delete that one. Okay, so now this is the the names. And then this is the position here. Okay. And the position would be this okay okay just just for for sample what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna uh, do three uh, three uh, three names Let's see for example here I'm gonna delete this and then I'm gonna delete this one Okay, I'm just going to do three names. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to delete this one here. Just for an example here. So, for, uh, make sure that the first column is always the, um, you know, the title of the data. So, for example, here it's name, so that's name. And then position, this is position, right? So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to save it. Save as. Okay, make sure it's C, CSV. So save as, and I'll click on browse here. Let's put it in um, my desktop here. And then make sure it's uh, CSV. Okay, and click on save. I just save it as book too. Okay, so now here we go to file and then print merge create and load so i'm going to import that file and then here i'm just going to make it comma i mean um csv and then where what is my csv i think it's in my desktop here okay so it's it's book two and that's it so i've got the three names right okay so and then click on finish okay so since we have two columns right the name and the position 
uh, we are going to insert it separately. So for example, here, name, insert uh, selected field. So this is going to be the name of the person. And this one is important. Uh, uh, you should make it um, justified left so that all the names will be justified to the left, right? And I'm going to make it white and say 11 points is okay. And then for the position, I'm going to insert the field and then I'm going to make that white too. And then I'm going to make it 11, but then I'm going to change the text. Okay. Um, let me see here. Just for, for example, for a sample, I'm just going to make it different style like that. And then click on left. And then I'm going to center this. I mean, uh, align it to the left. So type in L to, to align it to the left. Okay, so and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform print merge. Okay. Okay, and then this one will show up. Again, we're going to go Adobe PDF and then click on print preview and uh, I'm going to go in position and I'm going to do three because there's only three let's see if I oh I can make it oh pro I think what's gonna happen it's gonna uh, it's gonna do it again okay I'm not gonna put spacing uh, because this one will be cut by a, a cutter like I have a cutter so, and then we'll go, we'll skip this, and then we click on print. And then I'm going to save this, and then let's wait for it. All right, so here, okay, so I guess it just only did three because there's only three, uh, uh, what do you call this, names. So yeah, so this is what happens. So you get a different name for each, right? And also different font. So yeah, so that's uh, all for today. And um, I wish every, uh, I, I hope, I hope you got something out of it. And uh, this is very powerful. I think um, uh, printers would, uh, you know, uh, printers would appreciate this. You can also use this for, um, say, for example, for um, laser engraving. If you have something that you want to duplicate in a, you know, in one sheet, and then you want to change the names and the numbers only, that would be really helpful. All right, so um, so I'll end this uh, live stream, and I hope you like it. If you can give a like, uh, subscribe, or um, comment, that would be great. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye for now.